Hello, everyone, and welcome to Summer of 58, a psychological horror game in which we will be exploring an abandoned camp in Russia, a camp which is long rumored to be haunted following a brutal murder spree, presumably in the summer of 58. And beyond that, what can I really say besides I'm very curious and very interested to do what will presumably be some urban exploration from the look of this. Or rural exploration, as I should say. Let's get started. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault, or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomenon in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. Okay, my name is Alex Morton. This is my stuff, I guess. Oh, this looks creepy. Look, there's a cross on each of the boards. These graphics are really good. But this appears to be pre-rendered. Blood stains everywhere. I'm real curious how this is going to turn out to be a hoax. I searched all corners, but didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so long are true. Oh no. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents who himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid the place, and those who are touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building, in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and find evidence. In keeping with my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there's no temptation to leave it. I'm staying for a few nights, recording my report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag and a backpack with food with me. Need to explore this camp. Oh, this is beautiful! Look, we start ourselves off during the day, which is so underappreciated in exploration so that we can see it as it is during the daylight. Natural light pouring through the windows. And look at this beautiful attention to detail. Dust coating the floors, objects strewn about. Boards on the window, but uh, they didn't do a very good job of closing this place up clearly. The fuse is blown. There's no light in the building. And with some place that's been abandoned for this long, I can't imagine you'd really want to start the power. Oh, look at that classic Soviet imagery. Coat racks and cubbies. Each marked with different symbols. Oh. This is such a beautiful attention to detail where you can almost imagine it with kids walking around putting their things on the racks after being dropped off by their parents. Excited to spend the summer here. I really wish I could read that. Now you did say you were going to be closing the door behind you, but uh, I think this might be a little bit much. Oh, and it actually runs extremely well, too. This mouse movement is so smooth. Well, let's get going. I don't appear to have a flashlight. Oh, don't do that. Oh, 
Oh, look at all these pots and pans and whatnot scattered around. Let's see the environment outside. Huh. I have a feeling that's like a 2D image, but the way it's done actually does make it surprisingly look like there's quite a sense of depth to this. I'm not sure what this technique would be called, but it's actually pretty good. Ooh, a newspaper. But it doesn't seem we can read this edition of Pravda. And the game has just tricked me into lowering my face next to a rancid old toilet bowl. Do you hear that? It sounds like something was being dragged in another room. We can't remove these boards. Oh, look at this. A closet full of old toys. The narrow light from between the boards falling just sporadically over this whole thing. Just think that each of these was once something a child was playing with. Almost looks like a cursed artifact now, but at one time it was just another toy in the collection. <laughs> Did someone feed the cats here? Huh. Maybe somebody has been living here sometime in the past, or even right now? Would it be normal for a camp to just have gas masks in stock? Bunny rabbit stretched over the unupholstered chair. Okay, let's uh, continue to have a look around. Oh look, there's a gas mask here as well. A GP5, I have a couple of these. But where do I go now? Was somebody? Somebody was playing with the door handle, it seems like. Or with the window. I don't think you were there before. Wait, actually, for that matter... Are you... No. No, 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 no. We can't be dealing with ghosts already. Was this some child's favorite toy? Was this the favorite toy of the child who's suspected of committing the murders? Oh, it's like your button eyes are glowing with that yellow thread. And just what power is causing you to stand up? According to the store page, this game takes place in 2008. So, 50 years of intervening time, a child at the time the murders occurred... Is it possible that the killer just never left? Alright, what do we do now? No, no, there's definitely something moving all around. Okay, we're here for a few minutes and already we've got plenty of evidence. You hear that? It sounds almost like snoring. Or maybe a cat purring? I can definitely, from that corner, hear something. Oh wait, there's a newspaper right here and we can read this one. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian to English dictionary. Oh, so we are not a native Russian speaker. No. Oh. You stop it now. Let me guess. No, you are still right there. Hmm. Well, where did I leave said dictionary? No! Kitty? 
It'll be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Need to go get my Russian and English dictionary. You didn't bring that inside with you? Sirens? Also, don't think I don't see you back there. Left control to crouch. Am I... Okay, are we taking cover from a sudden air raid? Maybe these gas masks aren't so unreasonable after all. Candles would be useful when night falls. Thank you, cats. Are you sure it's cats, or is it maybe... Maybe something that wants us to stay? Huh. A group of kids. Oh, this is reminding me very, very much of Resident Evil 7 right now. Maybe I should remember their faces. I have a feeling it's going to be important. Maybe they're trying to tell me something. Maybe they're not air raid sirens. Maybe it's just a flood warning. Maybe that's wishful thinking. Something clearly, clearly is laying out the red carpet for me. Are these matches? Ah, this is my Russian-English dictionary. I was translating some Russian books in college, and I took a Russian-English dictionary with me to help with translation. I found it on the... local market. I feel like there's a lot happening already. Ah, here's my camera. And I can press F to turn on the night vision. Ah, oh, so we're taking... We're taking Resident Evil 7 and mixing it with Outlast. And throwing some paranormal elements on top of that. I am so loving the theming of this game. We can zoom in and out with Q, with uh, E. Okay, but we don't need that just yet. Now we need to find some matches right after we check out that newspaper that's over in the bathroom. Ah, this one right here on top of the radiator. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children. But no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one. Only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children. But all in vain. Have I had this all wrong? Did I misunderstand the store page? It seems like it wasn't a series of murders, but rather that the entire camp just disappeared. That certainly changes things. Look, a starfish. Oh, and we can read the names on the lockers now. Sasha, Katya, Anya, Anton, Yakov, and Dasha. That actually just kind of adds a sense of loss to this whole thing. Like, their lives were just interrupted right at the very beginning, and who knows what happened to them. Vasya? Vanya? I don't know. I'm reading them because I don't know if these are going to be important. The pioneer grows up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. Oh, we get a translation when we look at these things. With a pioneer ringing march, we go to the aid of the elders. Oh, there's a note on the back of this door. I was scared, and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her. My friend, Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Who are you? That's Yakov. So Yakov, the one with the starfish and what looks like, I don't know, maybe a piece of chalk or something? believed they're somehow responsible for this, maybe even persisted around here after the disappearances. Maybe... maybe he and this Anna are in this photo? 
I have to call attention to this. I'm really impressed with how this game is handling its exploration theme. It's given us this small but very detailed area that it seems like you've seen everything there is to see at a first glance, but it's training me to look at the details because that's where the real clues are. More lockers. Ooh, a first aid kit. I have a feeling that, yes, most of our advancements will be here in the dark. Huh. Another photo. I guess that's the campers and staff. Or maybe just the staff. That looks like something. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp. And there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She didn't wash and didn't go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Every good camp needs ghost stories, and... Well, maybe there's something to it. Maybe it's not just what happened here. Maybe it's this place. Let's check our stuff again. Maybe, yeah, there is more we can interact with. Our sleeping bag? I brought a sleeping bag with me as I plan to spend a few nights here. Dude, I would so love to do something like this. This place seems great. Huh, Russian nesting doll? I got an achievement for picking it up, but it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do with it. Yeah, whatever additional answers would have to be in these lockers, right? Another photo. An old piece of playground equipment. Uh, the wrinkles in the photograph almost make it seem like there's something transparent underneath it. Maybe this is something we'll be able to see if we wander around? Whose locker is that? Vanya. Yeah, alcohol, a whole bunch of cigarettes. Evidence that someone's feeding the cats? I definitely think that there's somebody living here. Ooh, another newspaper. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of the Unost Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of director Maria Anatolyevna. All right, hang on. Maria Anatolyevna. A suspect in the case is a child living in the camp named Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him, and where he is now, is not known. Okay, so most likely the starfish and the note came later, after the investigations then. He might not have disappeared along with them. He might have actually been the only one to not be taken by whatever happened here. Oh, there's a note here as well. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give my shoes in return. Girls in Russia loved to guess in the camps and believed in the existence of everything paranormal. So this place had a lot of stories surrounding it. Ah, a lighter. Uh, you had me looking for matches. The lighter is almost empty, and I can't always use it. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a fun night. Well, let's light these candles. That almost sounded like some kind of intercom or, like, PA system coming on. 
Are those air raid sirens or flood sirens or whatever they're supposed to be? Like echoes of the past? Well, let's get this started. This does not seem the least bit fire safe. I hope you intend to keep on top of this. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Okay, where should I put this? Well, I suppose in here works. Flanked by either door. Oh, God. If I were to set up in here, even if it is the longest space, I'd definitely feel eyes staring down at me all night. Here we go. Uh, where are we putting this down? Just right beside it? Done. Need to prepare for the night. Night one. So I suppose we really are going to be staying here for the several days. Oh, look at that. The flicker of the candlelight barely illuminating the walls around us. The dark of the windows outside, knowing that we can't see out, but... A guest peering in from the woods would be able to see us quite clearly. These candles so dim that we can't even see the edges of the small room we occupy. And because we got here during the day, it's like we're defamiliarized with a space we'd gotten to spend so much time in. Huh, makes me want to huddle around this. Stay at the center, light as safety. All these bugs buzzing. This is a gorgeous game, just atmospherically. I feel like I'm here. Listen, we can hear the crickets and cicadas outside. This actually kind of reminds me of all my favorite moments from uh, my playthrough of Stalker Call of Pripyat. That old painting staring down at us, at one point meant to give joy to children, now a creepy reminder of the past and what took place here. This is the part I love. <laughs> Forget the ghost story. Maybe the ghost stories don't want to forget me. <gasps> Did I just step on something or was that something? Okay, let's take this. We have to go uh, document paranormal activity. Oh, it's like a reverse ghost adventure is where we're here to disprove things. Sounds like maybe something was knocked over. Maybe one of these things? Oh, but we can't see onto the night outside. Just that the sounds of the crickets and cicadas get so much louder as we approach these open windows. And it seems we've closed this door. No option for this one, but uh, with this one, I guess we didn't like that hallway of darkness lingering over us. I suppose that wasn't an option for the bathroom door, but we wanted as few blind angles as possible while we rested our head. Uh, zooming in does nothing. Making our way down this hallway now, it's almost like I can imagine each of these young faces turning to watch me pass. <laughs> Stupid! Uh, I knew it was there, and it... Uh... <laughs> Something's moving all around the building. And you're back over the chair, almost as if the events of the past day just didn't happen. Who is it? I almost feel like I need to get close to the window, but... That just feels like a jump scare waiting to happen. Oh, there's where we left the fuse, I guess. Am I looking for anything in particular? Or am I just documenting what's going on? I mean, at the very least... This is some very compelling footage. But 
but it seems like I'm not. Inviting us to step into the shadows. There's a sound of creaking from behind this door. That sounds like something eating. Somebody definitely occupies this room. And something else occupies that one. I did not close this door! I certainly did not close this door. Is that a photograph on the ground? Looks like the front of some building, like a city hall or something like that, or a courthouse. And this door is locked. I am stuck. Whatever's here definitely knows I'm here. If I turn out my night vision, it is truly pitch black. There is no ambient light whatsoever. But what do I do? Maybe Yakov's locker will have something of interest? Nope, that starfish still stands watch. Okay, just a little camera glitch. Oh my god! I didn't even notice you, I was... What is wrong with you? <laughs> That's... That little pitter-patter of footsteps and then getting conked on the head with presumably one of the pots from the bathroom. Oh my god, my head. How did I get here? I need to find my video camera. Okay, yeah, I need to find my video camera after I just captured definitive proof of ghosts. Let's get going. Um, I, I need to find that uh, Russian to English dictionary as well. Oh, look. All manner of medications and such left behind. I can't read what it says, though. This looks to be some kind of bunkhouse, a cabin. Hello, pigeon. You're not afraid of me? And once again, we've got that serene morning glow. This place of terror, now once again, a place of calmness. Oh! We're not in a different building, we're just in the other room, now opened up. It was from here that we were hearing that whispering or hissing. This little monkey is absolutely adorable, and I would like to take it with me, please. Oh, this door has been opened as well, but it's also boarded from the other side. Uh, that is a corpse. And I'm maybe about to be a corpse. The sounds of eating last night, that's... I mean, it's hard to tell from here if that's from an animal or a person, but... Somebody is definitely here. Somebody that requires food. My video camera. With a note. I can't read what it says. Okay. Uh, my Russian English dictionary was over here before, but not anymore. 
Where did it go? Did I maybe miss a very important call? I can hear breathing coming from around the corner. Which has suddenly ceased. <laughs> Stop. Oh, beside the door, there's a very faded photograph. What well, looks to be someone holding a phone to their ear. But that's about all I can make out, and maybe a second person on the right? Uh, where is that dictionary? What is this? Uh... Faded image of scouts at play? Actually, it looks less faded and more like it's been totally overgrown by mold and grossness. Maybe it's in the vicinity of... Uh, oh, that's it? That little microscopic speck on the ground? God, that's annoying. Alright, but now we can start reading some of these additional notes, including the one on the camera. You're not welcome here. I gathered. Let's take this camera with us now. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. I need to try to turn on the lights in the entire building. Did you not see what happened yesterday? And besides, it's not like a place like this would have working power anyway. You bring a generator with you? Sounds like a child's voice. And the song is familiar, actually. Listening to this, the shafts of light pouring through the window onto this still scene. It actually almost feels like it belongs here. It's almost like the building is speaking in a friendly tone. I can't... People are probably annoyed that I'm spending so long on this, but I'm enjoying this a lot. Alright, let's get this stuff down. We're past caring about vandalism. I suppose it's just a thing that we always run out of breath on the third board. Can we get a better look at you? But, as I imagined, there's no one to be found on the other side of this wall. Alright, first I'm gonna look at a couple of things that I didn't have the opportunity to read. Late at night, when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool and the bells are empty, and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers, courtiers do not know what the fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Yeah, don't come to Yunos tomorrow, some of you guys are alright. Ooh, there's like a radio or something. But I can't use it. Alright. Little as I want to, let's finally start to examine the gore room. That's a human handprint. That precludes any animal possibilities. That's a human handprint. And that... Well, it, it does look to be an animal corpse on closer examination, so... That's good, I suppose. Dead birds as well.
be clean, neat, pioneer, show an example in everything. An image of Vladimir Lenin. Are you going to translate these as I get closer? No. Guys, your prank with fire leads to a fire. Hello. That's a bloody bear footprint. Okay, you again. Actually, wait, I should check. I, I should check. Are you... I haven't finished looking around the room. I haven't finished seeing if you're still in your other thing. Are you a second toy, or are you the same one moved? Oh, there's a newspaper right here. Come on. The director of the Pioneer Camp, Yunost, Maria Anatolievna, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. So this isn't a Miss Trunchbull situation. She is actually well-liked and well-respected. I guess- oh, right here! It doesn't work. You need to find the fuse. Yeah. And I guess that fuse is also a power plant. Oh, we can move through here. It doesn't look like you'd be able to make it. Ah, but here we are. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I can't leave during this segment because I never would have found it otherwise. I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong, I can use the light bulbs. All right. We need to take the box to the sleeping bag. And uh, we can't put a fuse in here first, or I suppose it would go in the other thing. No, no, we would use a switch! That was an adult. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, because I'm using a game recording, but uh, I literally, like, opened up, like, the Windows, like, Explorer. Okay, um... Let's, can we put this down on the ground? I have things to attend to. It's not like I expected to find anyone here, but still. Yeah, this place is definitely haunted, no doubt about it. Of course my camera was down for that, but is what I got last night not compelling enough? Oh, right, uh, we have to... Yeah, you're still there. Okay. Let's place you. And we can turn on the lights, although... Are you really so sure this is going to work? I mean, look, we've got all kinds of places where the electronics are ripped out of the walls. Just what good do you think this is going to do? I mean, Christ, even if this place was still connected to the power grid, some kind of generator, I would imagine that having actual electricity going through this would just start a fire. Aren't you going to listen to that poster from before? Is that the radio from before? It was still in the on position after all these years. Maybe we leave it on. Do you hear that? It almost sounds like there might faintly be something else in amongst the music. That vent looks sort of suspiciously 3D. Maybe something will happen with that later? Also, I'm now realizing this vaguely threatening poem well, that's right above the laundry list of medications.
I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. You just got up! Night two. Just how many nights do you intend to stay after all this? You're not even going to try to leave? The clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. I suppose the room is just a little bit more inviting. I mean, it's actually kind of the same without the candles. But it does give me a place that I can huddle for safety. And after all this, for as much as I would love to stay in a place like this, not after every overt piece of horror that's happened. Come on, let's take that camera. Do you really need to set it up like that every night? And just as with the previous days, let's make our rounds. We've closed these doors, but not the one at the front. We should probably be checking these lockers for changes as well. It's so different at night when we have to wade in like this. I don't need your sass right now. It's a pretty song, but I just do not need it at this moment! I get the feeling that that's perhaps the, uh, the director of this place? The head counselor? What even is that? That was so unnatural, I couldn't even tell uh, on the edge of this globe what I was looking at at first. Is the phone gonna ring again? That corpse is gone. Like it's been dragged away. Birds still remain, though. This box wasn't here before. Could just be a ploy to get my face all close to the glass. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. A lot of things would be interesting right now. A lot of things are interesting. Okay, so I guess we're looking for a key. Oh, that is not going to be easy in the dark. What do we see? How much does this illuminate right now? Not nearly enough! There were spare light bulbs in the box. And... Okay, so that's our next objective. Just keep swimming. 3. 3 total. Okay. Uh, let's bring it over here. When we have an objective item, it'll remain uh, held in front of us. Is that really what we wanted? I mean, to be honest, that almost makes things worse as far as I'm concerned. At what point will you call enough enough? I'll give you this. You are a very brave person who, despite being a skeptic, is very dedicated to their work. I can turn off the power myself. I do have that option. And I guess they've had enough of me locking the door and turning the radio back on again. Now, this game really knows how to handle darkness.
What is this? A figurine of a ship? Sink is on. Somehow. And I saw it again. Another box. I saw you there, but... Oh, you're not the bunny. You're... You're something else entirely. The way your sleeves extend far beyond your arms, or indeed the arms of anything that should exist. Just makes it look like you have twisted appendages instead. So this is the point where I look up and see the horrible thing that was on the ceiling the whole time. Oh my god! I knew it was coming and it still got me! And you've taken the box with you. That dripping... Now I don't know if that was meant to be blood or... If it wasn't maybe supposed to be some kind of... Reference to the hydrophobic girl. At this distance, we can't even get focus on you. There's nothing to do but walk forward. Or backward! We can always go backward. Who says people don't have agency? I, I'm a grown adult and I can do what I want. Of course, this is the room that doesn't have a door attached. Oh my god! You were still there. I thought they were going to do a thing where we go forward and you're gone and how did you do that? Nope. No. No. Alright, well, you went that way, I'll go this way. Maybe you left something for us. A hammer, some nails, cool. Maybe we can use that. Uh. Yeah, that light is out again. Can we use these to replace the bulb? No, you probably turned off the power. Which means we're gonna have to follow you. The door on the right is open again! Okay, interesting phenomenon. You played the jump scare first, and so I wasn't affected by you actually running out. However... However, I am currently being affected by the sound of someone heavily breathing in the next room. I thought I saw it might have been a flash of light. Breathing is stopped. Nope, there it is again. Well, entering a small room after hearing a noise, door closes behind you? Uh, as they said in the one infamous horror section of the Ghostbusters game, event imminent. Can't I just try hiding behind here? I mean, it gives us the option to crawl into this corner. I can't imagine I'd ever want to do anything else ever again. Ah, oh, it's such a perfect hiding spot, and we'll have to keep it in mind. Nope! You do doing that is the bad thing to do. Oh my god! Who's there? Jesus. That grin. Just like that clown harlequin, whatever that thing was. But this was flesh and blood. With this key, I can open the box. Ah, uh, what? No more tunes? You all partied out? Was that more energy than you were able to expend? Why can't I take this thing with me? It is so adorable. Dear Diary, 
Today is the annual opening day of the camp. I have been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them. But they will also help me a lot, that's gotta be the director. And I have a feeling she's the one we saw a moment ago. Night of 58. Where her? After a severe thunderstorm, there's no light in the building! This diary is going to tell us everything there is to know. Can we take this candle with us? Ah, oh, no, a little light. We're actually getting to see it as it was. A little drawing by Anya. Oh, this is so cool. I mean... I can't wait to learn what actually happened here, but to actually get to experience this from the perspective of how it once was. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. In 1958, I do not think there was any such thing as a heart transplant. I think we were barely getting into kidney transplants. A child's drawing. Oh, I recognize that image. kids are probably all sleeping in the next room. Right now. Look, the toys from before, the blocks. Oh wow, all still sitting here exactly as we find them 50 years later. Although, it seems like this artwork was already quite scratched and faded. It might actually somehow be in better condition in the future. Now we can't go into the next room, but perhaps we can go into theirs, although I'm not so sure about what it is we might be planning. <laughs> Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. Okay. Something is already going on here. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you really do not seem to... There goes that music box. Yakov's locker. So who was I talking to about the something bad? Key to the safe. Okay, so it seems like I'm um, will- You filthy child. So it's starting to seem like I'm looking for an unwilling donor, but who would I have been talking to about this? Okay, where is the safe? Huh. That was what I heard. A bird crashing through the window. Oh, I have to move the chair. All right. Come on, open up. Yakov's, I don't know what that word is, stole the second gas cylinder. Okay, I guess, I don't know what any of this is or does. Uh, we worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter, and I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake, because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys, and Alexei Sergeyevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, 
Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. This is the kind of thing you don't put in writing if you want your plan to succeed. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. I need to spray sleeping gas so all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives. And he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak. But he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich and the shelter w at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. The day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent some horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them distract them from the horror that was right next to them all along. Yeah, yeah. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and get back to the classroom. Were the ghosts that inhabit this place already in my mind even before anything had happened? This is truly horrific. the sound we were hearing. A call from the past. Oh, how the turntables. Oh my! Who are you? Uh. Mr. Sergeyevich, perhaps? Maybe he decided that he wasn't going to help with his end of the deal. And if an entire camp is to disappear, what's one more body full of organs? Maybe that's what this was. They wanted to tell me the story. Tell me what happened. Except, she said that Yakov doesn't speak. We've heard sounds of breathing, eating, wandering around... Maybe he's still here, and still just non-verbal. Let's take, okay, Maria's diary, my dictionary, and my camera. They've all been left out. Maybe your breathing is so labored because of what happened to you. It's locked. But I can tell there's someone behind it. Oh. I've just realized there's a note on the floor that's been slid under the door. More bloody hands and feet prints on the ground. You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. Well, I suppose we can take this with us, so we should. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing at the door. Let's take it. Although, you don't need to do this. You had said he understands everything. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me. Who are you? Now for us to receive the message we were meant to receive on night one. Yes, I see you there. No. I guess not. Oh. 
that was your answer? Should try writing the letter again. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Yeah, not like I really expected to see anything. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Okay, so at this point it's pretty clear that there is... There's murders, and then there's a paranormal element, and then there's the person who never left. And imagine this existence, just trapped forever, maybe not even trapped, maybe here by choice, in the event that defined your life, the event that interrupted your childhood, just stuck in that trauma for your entire life. I mean, think about it. He's basically lingered in the location of the worst day of his life for 50 years. I can't even imagine. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here, and those people will come for me. I'll presumably tell someone that they live here. I really expected to see someone looking through the glass. There you are, bunny. You're actually looking a little different each time I see you. Who are your friends? Why are they here, too? I suppose he wasn't without company, then. Even if it is unconventional company. You, know, you might as well just wait by the door and not run across the room every time. Especially since I can hear that you seem to be on all fours on the other side of that door. The spirits of this place. Those who were tortured here. They remained locked up here. That day in the evening, after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. There's someone here. Are we gonna maybe tell them, like, yo, there's somebody creeping around the outside? All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Now, I had assumed in the flashback that this was us learning the information from the diary. Oh my god! What is... It's like you're wearing a mask. Who is this? There's somebody else at play here. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. It's nearby. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us. But I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes going into the rooms, 
What kind of ventilation could a little cabin like this have? Although, I suppose that is potentially a callback to the suspiciously 3D vent I saw in the other room. That building. Abandoned? Can I get there? Wow, this character is really going above and beyond. That music box has once again begun playing. A photo of an old merry-go-round. Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. I need to tear the bonds off the front door. Oh, we're doing even more! Well, time to stop being an investigator and start being a hero, I suppose. By investigating. Okay, now you only have the energy to tear off three of these things just barely, so maybe take a rest. Night three. Only we won't be spending it at the camp. Oh, this is so unexpected. Yakov said I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Grabbing our camera and our dictionary so that we can... Why did we do that to ourselves? I just came here. I need to find proof. Oh... And now, now we get an explorer that we can begin in the dead of night. Hospital gurneys left in the halls. Many closed and shamed doorways. And all we can do is wade into the darkness. And from the sound of it, there may be someone here as well. Now look, it makes sense that Yakov would still be alive, but this guy... Well, he'd have to be in his 70s or 80s at the very least. But it definitely sounds like there's someone walking out there. Can we really not push this stuff out of the way? Okay, did I miss something? What is that, a dream catcher? Okay, there's a lot of sounds happening. But I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Are you the one who was peering in my window earlier? Wait. No, this wasn't like this before. 1946. After the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. This is going on well before the camp. This is just a place of so much evil. But what else is there? I'm just going back and forth, waiting for the next changes. Oh my god! The way that door opened, I honestly expected some tall, dark figure to come streaming through behind it. A baby doll. And why can't there be any normal toys in this? It looks like its face has been drawn all over by a child. The children were knocked out, but what if the procedure wasn't done right away? What if they actually woke up here and were kept here for some time? The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, and the building became abandoned. Six years, 
for selling children's organs. Just have to keep looking around. This door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. And you just choose to give us this information now? Oh, uh, this is reminding me a lot now of uh, Grave Encounters. This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. I, I guess we're now seeing the difference between a haunted location that wants to tell me its story and a haunted location that's overtaken by malice. Uh, give me, yep, <laughs> peekaboo. Let's get through here. There's a number of these that I could actually stand to open. Maybe we can even use this as a weapon. And more baby dolls, who'd have thought? And even more designs drawn on their eyes. What are these? I don't know if I'll make it to the morning. Yeah, just ignore the sounds going over our shoulders. Just the screams of the condemned. Nothing to be afraid of. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning. Because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices. As if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman. More like her silhouette or a shadow. She went into the closet. God, that's creepy. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay. I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. That's the dream catcher. Oh, what are these things? They look like landmines, but I don't think that's what they are. The woman who went into the closet. That's the kind of thing that conjures an image without showing it to you. Sometimes written text can be scarier than visuals. More of these things. Oh, I do not like progressing through so slowly like this, not knowing what's going to be revealed. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich decided to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Yes? Oh, you're stuck? Come on. Here, let me help you out. The battery has run out! Was I supposed to be seeing something, or was it just like a burst of energy pouring through the doors? I think this is where it was done. This would be where the organs were actually harvested. Can we not push this to the side? Oh, the water still drips. Almost as if this place was in use until only moments ago. Oh, we're being corralled in a very particular way. The sound of the mad doctor sharpening his tools still echoing in the room. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanetchka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Oh, I have to take these bolt cutters. 
and there was like a sickening crunching sound as I picked it up. Uh, are you letting me out? Uh, it's just the sounds as if someone's moving around all around me, but I just never seem to catch a glimpse of them, despite the seeming impossibility of that given the geometry of this space. This door has seen fit to return. Oh my! Okay, been a while since we've had a direct jump scare like that. Did I read this before? Yeah. Get through. This is the direction where the footsteps were coming from, except no it's not, because here we find a wall as well. This hall is so narrow, look at this. There's something about the texture of the tile and the illumination of the IR. It's just so foreboding. And of course, this door is locked. Uh, of course. Of course, just let me run back and forth a few times so you can hit me with a jump scare. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's another one of those little baby dolls. I'm not worried. Yeah, the thing probably accidentally flushed itself down the toilet. You, however, gave me a little bit of a start. Oh my Jesus! And right there, I get the achievement. The devil is inside. Oh, that's gonna clip the audio so hard. I can't actually step into the shower. A year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. The most haunted place in the world. Such consistent and reliable paranormal activity. And an inverted cross paired alongside a dream catcher. There's a set of images that I've never seen go together before. The woman went into the closet. Oh, and listen to that. We can hear the wind whistle through this cavernous space. These look like the bones of all the children. Oh my god, but this... This is a much more recent body. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? Oh no. Oh no, we find ourselves trapped in this tomb. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. No. Maria, I'm so sorry. This is not a sympathetic story. A knife. Maybe we can use it somehow? Good God, this is the worst possible conclusion for a ghost story. Also, sorry for whoever's femur I just crunched. It's the safe. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Sergeyevich, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. He, oh my God, he died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. So from the accounts of the parents, 
She lost it years before, but they had no idea. In that time, she had held it together so well, worn such a mask, that she had managed to convince people that she was this reliable, good-natured person. They had no idea about the danger they were sending their kids into. And a death certificate. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. This haunting, it's being driven by just pure rage. And anger and loss. Oh, sorry, I'm so into the story, I wasn't taken by the jump scare. I mean, are we not even going to try breaking through these windows? Horror protagonists never try windows. But this is open now. We can't even interact with any of the doors anymore. We're done. We're leaving. We got what we came for. We got what we needed. Let's go. Three weeks later... Oh. I'm actually returning to the camp. Maybe to try and set things right with Yakov? The board's all placed back. But you're still here. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you'll be found and accused of something you didn't do. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Because now, it is rightfully your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. I'm glad this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about it in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live. And there I will have an unusual case. I'll tell you about it later. I wonder if that's a teaser for a new game? You could totally... Even though they weren't voiced, there is such a character to this Alex that... I feel like you could actually do a whole franchise with this, especially with this developer having such a taste for this kind of thing. Emika Games. I believe I've heard of this developer before, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, but that was such an amazing experience. From the urbex side, from the horror side, from the story side, and the character side. I really felt that... I didn't want to turn and run. I wanted to set things right and give closure to this age-old mystery, especially once we found out that someone is actually still alive from this event that feels like ancient history until you see how it's still affecting someone. You go into this place and it's such a believable and detailed environment. It feels, in its ambiance and its scale, that it's some place that some people used to have fun memories in. I really like the decision to have it take place at first during the day because... It makes it feel like it's not just a place of horror. Oh wait, we're seeing... We're seeing something else now. Perhaps this is a teaser for what's to come. Uh, it's gonna be- I need a second to gather my thoughts. Oh wait, a few days later, there's even more! And I get the achievement from day to day. Oh wait, I'm playing this as well? The battery is dead. That's not a good situation to be in. I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? 
Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage. But I'm not sure that I'll be released now. We need to try and get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. Okay, I didn't expect to be doing even more. But the dream catcher. Uh, oh my god. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? None of this stuff is of any use to me. Animal skull. All kinds of religious imagery. Oh my! To be continued. Oh! I believe this game is about two years old. I'll have to check the developer's page to see if there's more, but if so, I am definitely, definitely interested in playing more. Like I said earlier, this game does something really well from an urbex perspective, where the environments are so beautiful and so detailed, and there's so much going on with the ambient soundscapes, maybe a little bit too much, but it's still... It makes you feel like you're here. It immerses you to such a degree that even being in the environment feels like an experience. I did feel like maybe, especially early on, the scares were a little bit too thick. Uh, but later on, once it started to get into the groove of the story, it felt much more appropriate. I really liked how it was a really small space, but that's not the developer being lazy. It's because it really wants you to look into the nitty-gritty, investigate the details, and you start to see that this unassuming little room actually holds so much information that everyone else missed. And of course, there are those couple of other environments. I also really liked that we got to see the same place in a literal different light, getting to see it during its calm, serene state during the day as a dark and foreboding place at night, illuminated by only our candles, huddled in that one little corner. And so the place that seems so small suddenly feels a lot more threatening and like something could be around any corner. And then of course, we got to go all the way back and see it as it was when it was inhabited. What children knew it for and all the things that happened in the very place where we were standing. The horrible history of a place that you'd never think about when we first arrived. And then when we started getting into the story, it wasn't just this token thing meant to explain why there's ghosts popping out at us. It was actually very much a personal story that I got invested in, and I actually understood why the character didn't just turn tail and run, because I wanted to give that closure. I wanted to set things right. It's all about investment, and both in terms of being there and in seeing it through to the end, this game definitely succeeded in that regard. Even though I do think there were maybe too many scares, especially early on, I do like how so much of it relied on sound and utilizing the darkness and not knowing what's just in front of you past what you can see and what's behind that door. I like how we never see what's actually become of Yakov, a character who starts out the story and indeed their role throughout the story is as an innocent child and victim but we just get the impression that they've devolved into something that we don't want to see with our own eyes. And it does this with several aspects of the game. And then we get just like into the depths of the madness of that director, all culminating in that horrific sight, a sealed room filled to the ankles with children's skeletons and a hanging corpse in the middle, the culmination of her insanity. Uh, for a game that took place in such a small space, I ended up having a lot to say about it. 
Ah, oh, thank you so much for recommending it to me on the Discord. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.